Three, two, one, go. Okay, I'm back. Um, of course, I always, uh, there are always some steps that I do. So I'm gonna, but I'm gonna get rid of them so I can just do them all for the tutorial. Which is, I think I did um, post process. And I always change the lighting too. So like, let me change the lighting back. I'll just get rid of these and then turn this up and put that back to opaque. Change all the colors back to white. Change it back to matte cap. So I think this is where uh, we finished off. I don't even know how much better I have in these things. So what I was doing was I wanted to flatten out these eyes. Okay, so I just wanted to flatten those out. We can smooth them because that will just give us a better opportunity to for these to look more round for the eyes. Of course, it doesn't want to work, but oh, you know what else might happen? Maybe if I just use move and just pull them out a bit, it might actually help. Even though I just flattened them. So let's see if that helps. Okay, that's actually pretty cute. I think I like that. That looks good. Yeah, I'll buy that. So uh, I'm happy with that. So now uh, let's just train from Metcap to lit PBR. And you know I like to take everything Bring the floor back, even the floor. What are these lights? So I'll take everything and then make it this like terracotta color, just because that's the color I like. And while they're all selected, I'm also gonna do, uh, change everything to subsurface. I thought I did, but. So I'll change everything to subsurface. It looks like it's changing different things, unfortunately. These are the pupils, these are the eyes. The eyes are gonna stay. Let's validate those. So these are eyeballs. So the eyes are gonna stay. I think I can do this and let this charge. Oh, it's already at 95%, so quick. Uh, the TFs, I'm just gonna validate those. TFs, everything else is good. Okay, what is, th oh, this is the main, this is dyno. This is dyno, let's make sure everything is subsurface. Looks like everything is. Okay, so now I'm going to put post-process on uh, I think this is fine for now. And I'm going to turn the environment off and add a light. Actually, first I need to figure out a nice like pose for him. I think something like this is good. Oh, I also forgot, I had an orthographic. I put it on uh, perspective. I think perspective looks a bit better. So I think I like I think I like something like this. Yeah, I think I like this. So let's put it in the middle. And I'm gonna take the add view just so I can have, um, just so I can come back to this view if I want. So that's good. So now let's go back to the light and let's go to these options and just make it brighter. I always bring it to around two, but maybe I'll go a little bit higher this time. Maybe like 260. That looks good. So let's just copy this light. I'm gonna move it over. I don't like lights being on top of each other. This is another sunlight, but I wanna bring it up so it's, so we have a nice rim light, like on his neck. There we go. That's, that's what I want. So maybe something like that. Let's change it to blue to match the blue background. Uh, that'll kind of like, um, make them a little more cohesive with the environment. Okay, that's good. Let's do a quick save. All right, so now uh, we do have some other lights. So I guess we can, I guess we can fart around with these lights too. Let's take uh, this one and this is another sunlight. So we're, I'm just moving it out of the way and maybe we'll put something back here. 
little bit of light back there, but maybe not blue. What if it's like a what if it's like a pink? What does that look like? So we can add another light there. And maybe for the last light, let's add a new light and make it a spotlight. Maybe we'll bring this up. We saved our scene, so we're not worried about that. We can move it up and we can put this one down right over top of his head, maybe. And we'll turn it so it's not so bright. So that's kind of good. It kind of gives his face a little, a little something. So that's kind of nice. It could also be from this side too. We could also do it from this side. It'd be nice to get those teeth in there. But you just need more of a side view to get those teeth. Well, let's take a look at our view and just see how it looks. And now we'll undo and just, this is actually just, I wanna check out the light and see if there's one that I like better. I think I like that, even though it's kind of dark. So to bring out, this is very dark, abnormally dark. So to bring that back, we'll just go back here and add the environment, but now it's way too bright. So we'll turn that down some. And we can go to, uh, I'm gonna move this over so you can see it. I'm gonna go back to post-process and this is still like, it's a little dark, like see this it looks unnatural. First I'm gonna turn off bloom. Uh, I'll turn on depth of field later. But so sometimes I just like to play with these because this size, that's way too much. So sometimes I just need to bring that, bring it way down, even bring the strength down. Because a character like this is more, uh, I still can't get it. It's still really dark in this crevice, but I think that looks, I think that looks better. <sighs> yeah, I think I like that. So let's do a quick save. Post process is on, all the bells and whistles are on. Uh, I just wanna go through my lights again. Yeah, they all look pretty good. They all look nice. Okay, so yeah, so I think that looks pretty good. I really like it. I'm gonna do a save as, did I save it? I'm gonna do a save as dino color. So let's color it. And I'm just noticing that it's looking just like that green dinosaur on whatever that thing is. Just like a green CG dinosaur. I didn't really look at anything, but I guess I guess that dinosaur must have just been like in my head. I don't know. Uh, what color should he be? I guess he's gotta be green, right? I don't know why I keep going towards a yellow, but I guess he's gotta be green. Kind of like that. It's kind of nice. This can be, I think that's good, but actually I'm gonna pull this off of subsurface. It looks too subsurface. And it's a little too dark. Make it a little more pink. It's really bright though, I'm noticing. I'm not sure why that is. Seems really bright. And it's also like, Maybe it just needs to be wider at the back. Okay, that looks, that, that feels a bit better. Uh, but it's still a little bright to me, so I want to make it a little bit more pale. Okay, so let's see the eyes. Do we want to just make them white? Or do we want to do like a... Off-white is kind of nice. And for these, do we want to just do black? Uh, 
Oh, I never, I never, um, I never voxel remeshed the nostrils. That's okay. Let's use the same, the same color for the teeth. For this, let's use. That's kind of nice. Yeah, it's kind of nice and just like simple. That's exactly what I wanted to do. I'll do a little depth of field, maybe. Oh, did I change it back to perspective? I did. I think that's I think that's uh, acceptable. Let's check it out with. I feel like this might be a little too bright. Let's lower that down a little bit. I think I'm happy with it. There's probably uh, some other things that I would change. Actually, I think this would look really nice in Blender too. But uh, if I keep going, then I'll just keep going forever. Uh, I guess last but not least, oh, I could add some, let's see if some eye eyelashes helps. Let's use Tube Path. Start here, boom. Okay, let's turn snap off there. Radius, so we'll make this smaller and this side bigger. And we want to make sure we move this into. Okay. Let's actually change it to black now. Um, we'll turn the roughness all the way up. Paint, so we can kind of see what we got. I think that looks good. We'll mirror it, we'll validate it, we'll smooth out the end a little bit, and then take flatten, and just flatten one side. And that'll sort of give us the shape that we want, or the shape that I want. Oh, much better. Much, much better. I'm gonna flatten this a little bit. It's a little weird though. I might have to move this out a bit. I can't get it. Can't I not stroke paint? What are we doing? All I want to do is pull this little piece out some. There we go. It's a little better. Maybe if I just smooth it, it'll, there we go. That's what I wanted. And I want it to be very round. I might have put this too far down. Oh yeah, that's better. I like it. I'm gonna do a quick save. Oh, uh, let's take the, I should have done this before. The nostrils and the dyno. And voxel remesh it. And then maybe crease. And now we can do some stroke painting. And maybe we'll just. Crease, crease. Why is the crease not creasing? It's 
Hmm. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out, really helps my channel out. Definitely check out my Skillshare classes. I have 2D classes in Procreate and 3D classes in Nomad Sculpt. Keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all in the next video.